Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a few reserve list cards that have been going up in price and kind of a, a trip down memory lane, if you will. So the first one is Cursed Scroll. This used to be one of the most powerful cards in Standard. It was in the aggro deck. You would play your Jackal Pup, which at the time a 2-1 for 1 red, yes, there is some damage that you take back, was incredibly fast. And then you would drop your hand off and then you would hit them with Cursed Scroll over and over again. So it's kind of nice to see that it's going up slightly in price. It is on the reserve list and it's one of the most iconic cards in my opinion in Magic's history. Because if you were red deck wins, this was in every single red deck wins. And that was the true, the true time that I feel like Magic was the most diverse in terms of deck selection. You had a combo deck, the first true combo deck, Canervius Bloom at the same time. So you would be racing each other. And then you obviously you had mid range, you had some control. Control was way better with counter spell back in the day. And they actually were all in the same set, right? When you look at Jackal Pup, Cursed Scroll, and Counterspell. Uh, Dark Ritual was in the set as well, I believe, and Tempest. So next we go to Urza's Destiny, and this one in foil, like any reserve list foil, it's insane. Uh, if you have the opportunity to buy a cheap reserve list foil, I would probably do so. Uh, just because it's so very few of them exist. Um, Urza's Destiny, Urza's Legacy. I mean, that's pretty much it in terms of cards that you're never going to see in foil again. This is an interesting one. It didn't, wasn't very good when I played it. A lot of these cards on that we're going to talk about today, I did play against or I played with. And I know that this card was not highly in demand. I did see it, it was quite common. I don't know if I've ever saw a foil one, but it wasn't a deck type that was particularly strong, right? I mean, maybe one of my friends had like a side deck on it, but it wasn't played all that often. So it's nice to see these old cards reemerge, especially in a format like EDH. Now, Gate to Phyrexia, uh, one of the reasons in elementary school that the elementary school teachers just outright banned magic cards. They allowed Pokemon cards. In middle school, they got rid of Pokemon cards, but allowed magic cards, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why that was the case, but in elementary school, this is one of the reasons that you had such a bad reputation of Magic the Gathering, or for teachers and parents who didn't understand what it was. You have these socially awkward kids, some of them goth kids, even in elementary school, and they don't fit in, and now they have a card called Gate to Phyrexia. Which is obviously, if you look at it from a teacher perspective, Gate to Hell, right? And you're like, it's black, it's got like skulls, right, to summon it. And you look at it, and then you say to yourself, huh, and demonic tutor, right? Tutoring demons, obviously, that's what a teacher would assume. And contract from below. We don't have these cards nowadays because obviously you want to market to the little kids. But back then, yeah, I could see why elementary schools banned it and I could see why people called it witchcraft. I mean, you look at Mardo's Cry. So from the dark, you have the moon, you have you know, this weird looking symbol on top and you have a person burning. Yeah. And even the name of it is kind of ridiculous. So back in the past, they probably could have selected better names and better artwork, but that's why I enjoyed Magic so much back then. It wasn't tailored towards the mainstream where we now have dinosaurs and pirates. And no, we had people burning at the stake. We had Gate to Phyrexia or Gate to Hell. We had Demonic Pack, Demonic Tutor, Contract from Below. Demonic Hordes, pretty much black what had all these demonic stuff. We had Lord of the Pit. I mean, there, there, it was, uh, even the white cards, like when you look at their name, it's like, ooh. Uh, and then the blue one, which we'll talk about a little later, is Invoke Prejudice, like obviously very racist and created by a racist person who is 
outspokenly a racist. So there you go. Anyway, uh, back to Legends. My gosh, if you own any Legends, it's time to hold. Do not sell. Do not buy this. Don't touch this stuff because in the next few years, this is the only stuff that will have value. I feel like what's happening right now is people are finding out that their cards, such as Modern and Standard, have very little value, future value. They will only go down in price because they will only be eventually reprinted. That's fact. Now, reprinting is not necessarily bad, as Tamagoy of 2013 would show you, that actually a reprint can increase the price if there's demand. There's not going to be a great... The problem isn't that there's so much product being printed. The problem is there's no demand for the product anymore. You're not going to see a spike in... Play. The player base grew exponentially during Innistrad, original Innistrad, and they grew exponentially during RTR. And there's no growth now. So you have a company just product, product, product. And there's no one buying the product because the player base is not growing. Maybe it's not declining. I don't know what the numbers are, but I can tell you it's not growing. And it's really obvious. Go to your local game store. I know a lot of you don't have it and have to buy from Walmart and TCG Player and stuff. But if you have a local game store, go there. See how many people are at your local game store. I've been contacted by many people to buy their inventory. Many people because they don't want to do it anymore. Four people contacted me to buy for them to sell inventory, card, uh, board games, magic cards. They don't want to do it anymore. Oh, and talking about the uh, perhaps the most racist card. I don't know of a card more racist than this one. Um, it's extreme. I find it kind of offensive that, I mean, it might be like, oh, maybe it's a mistake and people didn't really know. Well, no, the artist is actually a certified racist. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And magic was such a different time back then. It wasn't really for people to fit in. It wasn't like about being a part of the norm. And I feel like that's why people have fond memories of it. Not because like, oh, it's demon summoning and all this stuff. It's because when you play magic, you played with a very small group of friends and the teachers didn't like playing magic. Your parents didn't like you playing magic. No one liked you playing magic except your small group of friends. Now it's so mainstream that they have Failed Funko figures, failed board games, failed, what's that, Funko legacy figures. I, I mean, su super mainstream right now. They even have a failed movie that didn't happen that I don't think is ever going to happen. So when you look at, like, this little dude, this little cute dude with the little hat, I mean, it's kind of offensive picture. I don't know. Like, it's not the uh, most parent-friendly picture, I guess. It's not like My Little Pony or any of the other Hasbro IPs. But now today, magic is exactly like My Little Pony. Like it's dinosaurs and fun and friendship and planeswalkers and villains who don't actually kill people. Like the main one thing about magic back in the day is like you were trying to kill your friend who was a wizard, right? Like that's the whole point, right? You're trying to deal damage and then just kill. Them. And the, I think the marketing was like, hey, you got to kill them. And then there was something called anti, which like if you kill them, then you win a card. So you got to knock him out and know win the game to win like there was some gambling and all of that got like shifted right because they want to be more uh, pr friendly and i have very fond memories of playing magic when i was in elementary school i do not have so many fond memories of ixlon um i, I tried to set it's not really for me uh, i think it's not for me because it's i don't i'm not a big fan of um I would say right now I'm more of a collector and there's nothing like so this card right here from Alliance I would on a reserve list by the way it's beautiful it's gorgeous the artwork it's fantastic I don't see anything Ixlon like this now the card isn't good but the artwork is epic it's a beautiful piece of artwork it's creative it reminds me of magic when I played it I don't recognize magic it's like dinosaurs and i remember dragons and fantasy and uh, yeah you could say dinosaurs is fantasy but like pirates like there wasn't even pirates until so i'm like very mm, old school right 
And I like my angels, I like my demons, and I like this picture because it's an angel. I'm like, oh yeah, magic gathering, angels, goblins, elves, demons, nice. Merfolk, cool. Now it's all of these like random, like we have vehicles. You can have a dinosaur driving a hovercraft into your opponent. Like it's really hard to wrap my head around like that concept, but that's currently what's happening or can happen in standard. Is a dinosaur, a legendary dinosaur, could be driving a train at your opponent. And your opponent could be using a helicopter, like a smuggler's copter. I mean, that's bad. They could be using a, a Heart of Kinrin-like vehicle to block that train. And then that Heart of Kinrin-like vehicle could be operated by a uh, metal. Actually, another vehicle could be operating that vehicle, which was then operated by a pirate. No, I mean, I just love... Old school, angels fighting dragons, fighting demons, everyone's in the mono color. You know, I love the angels, of course. My friend loved the dragons. My friend liked the elves and everyone had their favorite tribes. Now it's kind of just like a meh type of deal where everyone plays the best deck. No one played the best. No one cared about prices and no one cared about the best deck. Now that's all people care about. And that's why I think these cards will always have value is because people like me, appreciate them far more than the current cards today. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.